What would have been Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s 94th birthday was celebrated in a service today at the city's historic Abyssinian Baptist Church up in Harlem. As CBS 2's Christy Kalishian reports, this is also the first year the church is doing this following the death of its beloved pastor, Dr. Calvin Butts. Those three words, we shall overcome, reverberating within the walls of Harlem's own Abyssinian Baptist Church, still decades after the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King's death. This is what we are called to do, to give life, to give meaning, and to see the embodiment of that phrase, we shall overcome. It's a phrase renowned writer and author Dr. Jelani Cobb says is often taken for granted. Dr. Cobb guest spoke at Sunday service. At a moment where we see democracy in crisis in this country and the tenuousness of the rights that have been secured through the civil rights movement, it was really something that we should be thinking about. This is also the first year the Baptist Church is celebrating Dr. King's life without their beloved pastor of over 30 years, Dr. Calvin Butts, who died this past October. He did the work. He left a legacy for us to follow, and we thank God for that. What legacy does he leave behind? <laughs> you name it, and he's done it. As congregants pack the pews, clapping and celebrating the life of Dr. King, they highlight the parallels of King's message with their former pastors. Reverend Dr. Calvin Butts III lost his battle to pancreatic cancer this fall at 73 years old. Like Dr. King, he's remembered for his fierce leadership and strong message of community. Reverend Butts was an institution in Harlem and beyond. And so even while we're you know, celebrating the legacy of Dr. King, it's impossible to not also be thinking about uh, Reverend Butts and his legacy and all the work that he did to build this community, to protect this community. In Harlem, Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News.